Hello friends, today I shall tell you how to determine level of service on a multi-lane highway as per the procedure given in Indo Highway Capacity Manual. And this procedure is a five step process. In the first step, we identify the segment, segment of the highway and this segment should be of uniform characteristics. Indo SCM does not provide further guidelines how to select the segment, but US Highway Capacity Manual suggests that to ensure the uniformity, this segment should be such that there is no change in the number of travel lanes or in the gradient or in the curvature or in the speed limit. So whenever you find a change in the number of travel lanes or change in speed limit or in gradient more than 2%, then you segment the highway at that point. LOS is to be determined for each segment separately. The segment should be away from intersection. Indo SCM says that intersections can be a natural boundary for the highway segment. That is the first step identify, define, or select the highway segment. The second is you collect the traffic volume data. And this traffic volume data can be collected either for a period during which you want the level of service. What manual says that you should collect one week data for 168 hours. And this data can be segmented again in five minute volume count. If you are looking for high, how the level of service is changing from morning to evening on a particular segment or particular highway. If you are, if your purpose is to find out level of service for let us say a particular period, 5 to 7 in the evening, so collect traffic volume data for that period only. Then once you collect the data, the third step is to convert this traffic volume data into equal number of passenger car unit. And there are PCU factors suggested in the manual. Use those PCU factors depending upon the traffic composition and convert this traffic volume into equivalent number of passenger cars. So this is the traffic volume in PC per hour per direction as you estimated from the field data. Then the fourth step is to determine the space mean speed. So for the period for, the, for which you collect the traffic data, you find out what is the speed of different types of vehicles on the road. Space mean speed. Make a trap of 40 meter, 50 meter on the highway and find out the speed of individual vehicle, maybe on sample basis, maybe on 100% basis, but you find out what is the space mean speed of the highway. If you are not able to make a trap, find out the sport speed data and then convert time mean speed into space mean speed. So space mean speed is also observed in the field and once you know the volume and space mean speed, then ratio of these two is the density. So volume which you measure in the field divided by space mean speed will give you the density. And LOS is based on the density. So a, a table is given in the manual to find out the LOS based on density. A, B, C, D, E and F. And for Four lane highway, these values are less than or equal to 18. This is PC per hour per direction. B 19 to 27, 28 to 45, 46 to 64, 65 to 90 and more than 90. And for six lane road, these values are less than 27, 28 and more than 136. And if you convert these values into per lane basis, you will not find much difference between LOS criteria for four lane and six lane. So this is a complete procedure of finding LOS on a multi-lane multi highway as per procedure given in Indo SCM. Now let me take one small example how to determine the LOS on a let us say four lane divided road, four lane divided highway and the traffic volume which is measured on this road is 1250 vehicles per hour 
और डायरेक्शन एंड द स्पेस मीन स्पीड विच इज मेजर इज 40 किलोमीटर पर आवर द ट्रैफिक कंपोजिशन विच इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन हाईवे इज लाइक दिस दैट यू हैव स्टैंडर्ड कार बिग कार टू व्हीलर बस एंड ट्रक स्टैंडर्ड कार्स इज 40 परसेंट बिग कार इज 30 परसेंट टू व्हीलर्स 23 परसेंट बस इज 5 परसेंट एंड ट्रक इज 2 परसेंट दैट मेक्स 100 परसेंट फाइंड आउट द लेवल ऑफ सर्विस ऑन दिस रोड ऑन दिस सेगमेंट ऑफ द फोर लेन हाईवे so first step is because you have major traffic volume in the field you have major space mean speed so first now the step is that you convert this vehicles per hour per direction into pcu per hour per direction and one method of doing it is like this that you take let us say 100 vehicles on the road out of these 100 vehicles you have 40 cars and these are the pcu values which is taken from the manual 1.0 1.4.4 two wheeler 54 buses and 4.54 trucks so 40 cars multiplied by 1 that is your equivalent volume 40 30 into 1.4 42 23 into 4.4 is 9.2 5 into 5 that is 25 2 into 4.5 that is 9 so that makes a total of 125.2 pcu what does it mean it means that 100 vehicles on the road are equivalent to 125.2 pcu that is what we call the stream equivalency factor if you divide this by 100 the stream equivalency factor is 1.252 alternatively you can see what is the 40% of this 1250 put it here 30% of this value 23% of this value multiply the factor you get the total flow in terms of passenger car so the total flow in pc u is now 1250 multiplied by 1252 and this is equal to 1565 passenger car per hour per direction space mean speed is measured in the field that is 40 km per hour so you can find out what is the density k k is q upon v Q is one five six five divided by forty. That is thirty nine point one two five. That is PC per kilometer per direction. With this value, you enter this table for four lane highway. You get the LOS C. so los on this section of the highway is c at the time when you measure this traffic volume of 1250 so that is how we calculate we determine the los on a highway multi lane highway as per indo scm thank you very much for watching this video you can write your questions